are the children of Sarbati, a small little village in Koraput. We went the last winter and we had to trek up about 10 kilometers on a hillway that the tribal people of the village use because there were no roads to the village. These children have never seen a storybook in their entire lives. The village has a temple that the Sarpanch proudly showed us and they spent about um, five lakh rupees on the temple, but the school doesn't have a library and these children were so excited to see the books that we had brought with us. They came to us every day. Why? Because we had books with us. I wish I could show you more pictures of the children with the books, but sadly our camera died and there was no electricity in the village, so we couldn't take more pictures. But these children and thousands of other children like them are the inspiration behind walking book fairs. We wanted to take more books to more people all around Orissa and spread the joy of reading. So we decided to go ahead and take books to people. So we got together books, but how to carry them to people? <laughs> so Akshay here carried all the books in a backpack and off we went. We walked, we took public transport, local buses, crowded auto rickshaws, and we went to public places like roadsides, footpaths, and we displayed books on the street for everybody to look at. And people were so interested in the books because they'd never seen a book. They'd never looked at a book. And Akshay is going to tell us more about what we did. It's, uh, it's very strange that we sometimes are into something which actually we do not like maybe. We are doing it because it's a job. I sell books, I tell stories because I want you to know my story. It's not only my story, every book is a story of another individual maybe. Or maybe something which has happened to someone long time back or maybe just happening right there, right here. So when I took out books with her, I wanted to share stories with people. I wanted to say people, look at them. They are not piece of paper. They are stories. There is sadness. There is greed. There is hunger. There is God knows what in them. Until or unless you don't read them. It's not something which you, cannot, you can ignore. We put them on street. We wanted it to be next to a chai wala, a tea seller. We wanted them to be next to a cobbler so that people would understand that this is something we've been ignoring. So we took them around. And then what happened? So we wanted to explore more places in Odessa. We were also encouraged by the response that we got in Koraput. But then how do we go around? So we decided to put in some money that we got from our book sales and we took some help from our friends and we bought an old van. So we got more books, put them in the van and went around Odessa. We have traveled about 6,000 kilometers in Odessa. We went to 20 districts in Odessa and it was bloody hot. It was about 45 yes, degrees and summer. all our friends were scared. They were like, oh, you're traveling. It's so hot. What about air conditioning? But I think we had a blast and it was also very, very difficult. And also, I do not drive. I cannot drive. I'm the driver here. So you have to also collaborate, cooperate. You have to share your ideas. It's not that I can do bloody everything. I cannot do anything. I can maybe do something, but it's all about sharing your ideas, doing it together. And we started doing it together. And there are places where people actually didn't like us putting books out on the road. We had fight with people, but that didn't stop us because I and she, we both somehow are in love with books and stories. Yours 
and ours as well. And these are the people. So everybody got a chance not just to look at the books, but to touch a book, to feel a book, and to experience a book, which is very, very important. The power of books needs to get to people. People need to read more books, is what we believed in. And we went ahead with it anyhow, despite all our friends and family thinking that we were crazy and, uh, you know, we had just lost our heads. But anyway, this is what we did. We displayed books on the streets, on the roadsides. We tried to liberate books from all confines, from the confines of a conventional bookstore. We tried to take books to people. And not just books, we also tried to somehow promote young artists. Because we as a society, we have an obligation towards art and artists because it's impossible to create new things without art and artists. We just can't ban them, we can't just throw them out of us. You know? So this is, this is Mr. Ruskin Bond at one of our events on the street. We thought, why can't we get authors onto the street and do a book event on the street? Since we are displaying books on the street, we wanted to get authors on the street, we wanted to get people on the street, we wanted to make the street more interesting, we wanted to make use of the public space, which is exactly what we did. And also, why do you need a brush every day? A toothpaste, a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, a nice t-shirt. You need them every day, why not books? You go to every street, you find a barber shop, you find alcohol shop, you find everything. But how many bookstores are there? New apartments, new buildings coming up in the city, like anything. Everywhere you see lots of buildings. And all these buildings, what they have got? A swimming pool, a gym. But why they do not have a library? Is it that expensive? Or just being ignored? Or this is something very romantic? or something very, very precious that it has to be kept somewhere, out of reach, away from thousands of millions of billions of people. I don't think so. We went to a place called Malisai. Malisai is the red light area or district of Bhuvaneshwar. And uh, we met some of the sex workers there. And we wanted to know. It's, it's generally a taboo to go to a place like this, but I think all the women were excited to look at the books. They had fun with the books, and we promised them that we were going to come again. So this is, this is just the kind of activity that we would like to do, which is come, let's read together, or Aso Missi Podhiba Bohi in Odia. Why don't we encourage more people to read? Why don't we influence our neighbors, our relatives, our sons and daughters to read more? Why, why, why is it that we just want to buy them new gadgets and you know, new clothes or, or a new bike or a new car? Why, why not gift a book? So we also went to a small tribal school in Koraput and we also went to different places, different communities with books where maybe the people were not able to buy those books because maybe books are expensive, but still they got an experience of reading a book, of looking at a book, of feeling a book. So this is a, a van with some books. Before starting off working book fairs, I used to work with a very big retail bookstore, chain of bookstores, they're very big. And there was this COO of mine who once said, why don't you come up with new ideas to promote reading? And this is the same idea which I had suggested three, four years ago and was actually rejected because we do not maybe understand that a degree somehow just closes us. We cannot think out of the box sometimes, because we feel proud that I have become 
a graduate, a degree holder, or maybe this one who has got this, you know, I have something. So the expenditure of an advertisement, a piece of hoarding on a busy street, a small city like Bhuvaneshwar would cost you one lakh rupee for 30 days. But the old van, which used to be an ambulance, actually cost us 65,000 rupees. With the books, it was less than 1,50,000 rupees. And if you add this beautiful traveling we did around, maybe another 20, 30,000 worth of petrol, that's all. But the idea was not to just sell them, but let people have a look at them. How many people in small towns can even have a look at a book called Touch and Feel, a book called Pop Up? These books are not reaching people, but we can take them. This is not expensive. This is very cheap, but then we have to also look at other alternatives. We cannot just promote something on a signboard for one lakh rupee. These resources are meaningful. We can use them for so many other things. Then what do we do with our used books also are very important. We all got thousands of used books. Once we read them or sometimes after buying them, we keep them as collections and proudly show people that I have thousands of books as collections. But imagine just 500 books. If you take 500 books and start lending them to people at a cost of 30 rupee a month, you can make 15,000 rupee. And every small town, small city, big city needs lots of libraries like that. In Bhuvaneshwar itself, you can have maybe 50 of them. And you can generate money, you can generate employment, and more of all, you can actually take books to people. People can afford them. Just try and work at it. And then there's something very dirty about the industry called publishing, which actually pulps a lot of book every year. The exact figures can go up to billions of dollars worldwide, but nobody gives you the right information. But even if you take out a small publishing house in India, national publishing house, and if they're pulping, that 10% or 5% even, it can go up to 15, 20, 30 lakhs. Imagine how we can use that resource and where we can use that resource. We have to take up all these imaginations, innovations, and ideas and share them. 50 to 100 books in a small rack on a piece of wall like this can actually help a community, a small apartment. But then, also you have to have the love for books, for stories, and you have to do it. I have to do it. We all have to do it. We cannot ignore small, odd jobs. We cannot all be the managers, the engineers, and doctors. That is a requirement for small stories to go around, and the, all of us to read them and understand that this is not my story. There are thousands and other stories around us, and we all need to go through them. Thank you all. This is Shatabdi, and I'm Akshay. Thanks.